Hey guys, I'm Nick Atkinson. Welcome to Beastmaster Hunting. Today we're at the Ratliff Ranch in Llano, Texas. Actually tonight, the sun's gone down. We're going to do some night hunting with thermals and night vision. And I just happen to have with me Left Hand himself from the Talking Lead. What's up guys? And we got Kyle Simank, owner of Guns Plus in Georgetown, Texas. It's going to be a great night. What are you guys, you guys ready to go out and uh, call in some predators or what? Hell yeah, man. It's going to be a good night. Let's go kill some it's stuff. It's going to be a good night. Nice, nice and cold. They're going to be hungry. Just like <laughs> thermals. Y'all stick around. It's going to be an awesome episode. This is our first one. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Check back for more. BeastmasterHunting.com. Beastmaster Hunting on YouTube. And Beastmaster Hunting on Facebook. And of course, Talking, Talking Lead. Talking Lead, baby. Check us out. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, my name's Trey. We're out the uh, Ratliff Ranch uh, with uh, Beastmaster, uh, trying to get rid of some uh, predators and some hogs. Uh, the predators uh, kill a lot of lots, like our calves, uh, some deer, um, some of the uh, um, uh, turkeys also. Uh, so any, any, anytime we can uh, get rid of some predators, it helps out our, uh, our livestock and our uh, um, hunting business also. Again? Hang on, let me arrange you. 62. One. Kyle, are you ready? One, two. <laughs> Y'all both missed. Y'all are both fired. So, our last stand, um, we were doing some, some calls there, and there's some fox coming in, and uh, a couple of missed shots. Turned out to be fortunate shots because uh, Nick spotted a bobcat about 230 yards out and uh, nailed that sucker. And uh, he went and retrieved it. And uh, I think he's going to get some footage of it right here. On the fence line, 213. He's leaving. Let me see if I can get him. Huh? What? I said, Do you want me to see if I can get him? He's leaving. buddy another cat down so when they were spotting the fox and the bobcat I was on the back of the stand and uh, I was thinking I better watch their six in case uh, something else scares up because I didn't have a shot at it the bobcats are sneaky sneaky that way and they get you looking this way and come out behind you but all right so we just had a bobcat coming in at about 200 yards, he decided he was going to leave. So at about 2.30, I ranged him and uh, got a good hit on him. So he's across a river. This is the only problem. It's about 35 degrees out here. So we got to go get it. Oh, shit. That's a river. <laughs> He'll snuggle with you naked if you get your cold. Skin to skin, it's better for body heat. That's deep. <laughs> and cold. Turn off. Turn off. 
all the way down this way. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was just a little creek we were going to the cross here. That's, that's the way he described that's it. That's a little more substantial. Well, sometimes it's a little creepy. That's, that's fucking deep there. That's waste. That's waist deep. It's not even easy. I'm trying to get up this bank. That's a little cat. Huh? That's a little cat. Yeah, he's falling on five, but he's still good size. You got spots? Where'd you hit him? Huh? Where'd you hit him? Uh, Jeff, it looks like. Once or twice. Not bad. He looked big just because how far away he was. Fairly young cat. Big chompers. But 35 degrees out here. I'm wet. <laughs> Up to my uh, knees. Across the river. Got a cat. <laughs> You're gonna shoot him. Crazy. You gotta go get him. That's the rules. You ready for a nap after that? Are you kidding me? I'm pumped. I'm ready to go get some more. <laughs> Y'all ready to go get some more? Yeah. Go north. New spot? Yep. And relocate. Good thing I missed that fox. If you hadn't missed the fox, we might not have seen the cat. <laughs> So the hunt tonight went pretty good. Um, I, I consider it a pretty good night. Anytime we can get a bobcat uh, in the truck, it's a pretty good night. And, you know, it just so happens that that came early. Sometimes they come in early, sometimes they come in late. And we ended up hunting for another, what, probably 10 hours and, and, and didn't see anything else. So it was a long night, but I would consider it a, a success. So from last night's hunt, the main thing I learned is that I need to be the one shooting everything. <laughs> well well said <laughs> tonight's hunt was a little lackluster to say the least but uh, we don't give up we keep trying we're going to go back out tomorrow night and uh, do even better uh, we gave it a shot did uh, all kinds of different calls with coyote calls fox calls distress calls called in a, a few fox Missed a couple here and there. Um, there was a cat that was got by Nick. Smart ass. <laughs> At 236 yards. Uh, very nice one, about 20 pounds. And uh, I guess that was probably the trophy of the night. So, Nick wins. 